Well, welcome back. I'm joined now by the editors of the new anthology, Poetry for the Many, but they're rather unlikely anthologists, former Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn and former Unite General Secretary Len McCluskey. Well, welcome to both of you. I certainly wasn't expecting you two to grace my studio, so thank you for coming in. When Piers Morgan first uh, let, let out that he was allowing Jeremy Corbyn to come on his show, I was extremely disappointed. I didn't want him to uh, get more exposure, but of course the wonderful hatchet job which uh, Piers Morgan uh, did on Jeremy Corbyn just exposed uh, the useful idiot which Jeremy Corbyn is, of course. I mean, uh, you know, there's a reason why uh, he is despised so much around the UK, not only for uh, giving the Labour Party the worst election defeat uh, since the 1930s, but also uh, because the British people roundly rejected, rejected his worldview. They roundly rejected it. And I didn't want that to get more exposure. But of course, Piers did an amazing job in deconstructing it for all of us to see. You were at this march on Saturday and you were speaking there. And as you know, it was a controversial march. Uh, I, from my point, I think a lot of people there are there for the right reasons. They're there because they genuinely believe that they want to have a ceasefire in Gaza and mm. stop more people being killed. I understand that. But there are people there, and we've seen all the images all over social media, who are blatant anti-Semites, and in some cases, blatantly supporting Hamas. What do you feel about that? Well, they weren't taking part in the march that was organised by PSC and Stop the War. Well, um, they were there. Well. Well, they've been, I've seen them, it's in the images. The equivalent of the crowd of 10 cup finals came to London on Saturday to march for peace in Gaza because they're appalled at what's happening there. Mm. And there were people there who wanted a ceasefire. There was black yeah, but what about the ones... placards there calling I, for the release I, I, of... I've already hostages, said that. Calling I, for the release of I've acknowledged hostages. that. I'm concerned about the ones who were chanting death to the Jews, the ones who were wearing Hamas regalia, the ones who were they chanting... They should have been arrested by the police. Every protest that's ever taken place mm. in London, and I've been on many of them, always as a group of people there to cause trouble. Mm. Jeremy Corbyn is, of course, a protest politician. His essence is protest. It's not about... He's never about leadership. He's never about, you know, pushing through and trying to find lead the country in, uh, with difficult uh, through difficult situations. He's always about protest, and he's never evolved from this protest politician that he is. And he's so much more comfortable, I think, on his allotment, uh, you know, digging up vegetables than he is on the world stage. Because every time he gets involved uh, on uh, intricate subjects like the Middle East peace process, like making peace between Israel and its Arab neighbors. It's as if he's, you know, conducting uh, brain surgery, complex brain surgery, wearing boxing gloves. You don't bring back the tragedy of those 1,400 deaths by killing 10,000 people in Gaza. You have to have a process that leads to a ceasefire that hopefully... How do you get... Of... Do you think Hamas should stay in charge of the it's Palestinians not for in us Gaza? to decide who's in what's charge your, What's your opinion? Wait a minute. All decent people, and I mean all decent people, will have been outraged at what happened on October the 7th. It has shaken this country of Israel. It has shaken it to its very core. And, you know, uh, my son is about to go to Poland to see the death camps of Auschwitz. I'm almost of a mind to think, you know, why go to Poland? Go uh, an hour's drive from Tel Aviv where you can see these appalling uh, uh, killing fields here in the uh, south of Israel. Support Hamas. I'm not a friend of Hamas. I don't agree. You used to with call them friends. No, hang on. We did. Uh, you're, no, nice. Karen, let's get this clear. We did say that we hang used to be friends. Hang on, Sears, can you hang yes. on a second? Let me just. Is that can, not true? Can I say something very clearly? Yes. To you, which I've said many times, and I said it on Andrew Marr two weeks ago. Ten years ago, ten years ago, mm. I was in a private meeting in the House of Commons with a number of people who were representative of different Palestinian groups. It was an attempt to understand their views mm. and to bring people together. For a short time, a person who was related to Hamas left the room. Mm. And I said, in a collegiate, a friendly and appropriate way, as you would at any mm. meeting, where is our friend from Hamas gone? Right. That's all I said. 
Would you get rid can of Hamas? Pass, can I say You something? can answer my question. No, can I say something? Would you get rid of Hamas? Listen, can I say yes something? Yes or no? Thank you. Can I say something? Thank you. Israel claiming it is conducting legitimate self-defence. Where is legitimate self-defence pre-ordering the bombing of a hospital knowing there are children in it? Bill Clinton in 2016, he was president of the United States for two terms, right? That Hamas were using hospitals, schools, mosques and others deliberately. And they don't care about Palestinian lives. They don't care I about them. The they knew when they did what they did on October the 7th, there was going to be a massive reaction by Israel. They knew thousands of innocent Palestinians would die. They don't care about their people. So my question for you, Jeremy, which you, which you haven't answered, Jeremy, there are, there are and I want you to answer... There are dead oh, already. I know. How many more are there going to be before this is over? Thankfully, he's now a million miles away from any sort of decision-making process, so he is completely, completely irrelevant. Uh, he has, sadly, supporters in the UK, but he's nowhere near uh, the levers of power. He's been expelled from the Labour Party. He can't stand uh, as a Labour MP. He is a nobody. He's yesterday's man, thankfully. Uh, but him, just the very basic uh, phrase which any decent person would say, that, of course, Hamas are part of the problem preventing peace in this part of the world. He cannot bring himself to say it. So telling. So telling. Would you have said ceasefire, as this is the Israeli argument back at you, would you have said ceasefire to the Allied forces in World War II against the Nazis when they went after cities like Dresden and killed tens of thousands of people in one night? Would you have said ceasefire or would you have said you keep going until you finish and defeat the enemy? That's their argument, that, that they're a war to with a group that wants to remove Israel completely and kill every Jew they can get their hands on. Now, I've asked you repeatedly... Without I want you to wishing ask to rehearse everything in the Second World War, I think military targets should be industrial and military targets. Right, but a lot of German... Home, as, homes and hospitals. As you know, a lot of German civilians died in the process of they taking on the Nazis. They so they my question did. again, and just answer this question... Would you keep Hamas in power? It's not up to you. What's your me? opinion? No, you're, hang on a minute. you're expressing plenty of other opinions. And of course, he's too stupid, too stupid to take Piers Morgan's easy opportunity to just say that you don't want Hamas in power. He can't even say it. Why I'm won't a... you say Hamas Piers, go? You are a very strange form of interviewing. Am I? Where you interrupt, shout and abuse your guests. Well, you refuse to answer you my question what? and he keeps trying to answer it for you. No, I'm going to well, ask you, you a question. Kind of... No, I'm not going to ask are me a question, kind of legal Len. Why not? It's not your show, it's mine. And I, I keep asking you the well, same well, question. Yeah. Would you Look, keep Hamas in power? What I said was there has to be a ceasefire. A ceasefire has to be both sides. You could see the reason why he was so roundly rejected. Uh, by the British people. He's completely out of his depth. Thank God, although the Labour Party kept him in power for, for maybe five years in terms of leading the Labour Party, the British people, in their wisdom, rejected him wholeheartedly. And he gave that, that performance that was exemplified by his performance yesterday. I have a really hard time with anyone that uh, gives uh, a major audience uh, the ability for Jeremy Corbyn to reach large numbers of people. On the one hand, uh, he completely exposes himself as the numbskull that he actually is. Uh, but on the other hand, this man has been roundly condemned. He's been expelled from the Labour Party. He can no longer uh, stand as a Labour candidate, even in his own constituency. Why, oh why, oh why, do we still give this man airtime? Why are um, professional news organisations like your uh, channel. Why are we giving him a platform? This man should be condemned to the dustbin of history where he belongs.